Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now I'm on here today because I'm going to show you this next project that I've made that I'm going to put in my Etsy store. Um, and it is a little collection of things. <laughs> okay, so around the outside of this I've just tied this rough old piece of calico which wasn't long enough so I knotted that together. Okay. Because I do love making these sort of things. It's straggy and stuff. And you've seen me making this little booklet here. I did that one. So he's going to be on there. Then I have this one. And I showed you this one too not long ago, I think. And this is going to be in here as well. These are just my idea on how to put this together. I love how I did that. That's that's open there, so you can put stuff in. And there's a pocket on the back of there. There's a nice piece of greaseproof paper. And I put the gold um, thing stuff around the edge of it. There's here bits of stuff, <laughs> bits of gold. It says rose gold gilding polish, which I hardly ever use any of. So there's plenty there. And there's a I made this out of a pocket. I turned the envelope the other way and I made it out of the pocket and I stitched around that across the top and I put that piece on there so you want to write on that and there's the card for the back and that's the back of that one so there's those two little blokes okay in here I have 40 pieces of ephemera to go with this okay all right and now on here I have a piece of um, on the journal I have this nice piece of work that I did and I really love it and there's a bit of fluff on there there'll probably be a bit of fluff fluff is just free you don't have to <laughs> really paint for those just a little bit extras but I also put this little book with a with a ribbon clip I put this tiny little book on the back of here too okay for um you can write in if you want to it's not I know it's got a big hole in there, but it had to be to uh, be able to be used. You know, you want to be able to open it. So that's good. Now, I've got the... Um, you've seen a bit of this as I was making it, I think. I've got this um, wash, uh, seam binding here, which is a little bit um, coffee dyed. Not much, but it's, it's done. I've got a leaf on there that I put on, but I covered that with um, glossy accents. And I stitched it and it's pretty safe. It's still on there and there's a, it's a bit of a doily and a really old button and a pin a little bit on it, some um, rick rack and just nice bits and pieces that um, I stitched around there and there, slow stitching in this part here. So that's the cover. Oh, it's the back. It's calico. There's really, really, really vintage lace on that. Sorry about all these bits I'm picking up. And that comes right round to the front, but then that's covered with this piece then as well. And that's okay, because, uh, you know, you still get the benefit of it. So anyway, you open this up like this, and inside I have this really nice piece of paper. And it's got stitched, it's got uh, something stitched round on it, isn't it? Cool. Then I made this little pocket, and in there there'll be... A letter from the bookmaker and a couple of other bits, my card and that sort of thing in there. So I'm going to put that in there. There's, this one's just stitched around. So I did all this sewing and then my leg couldn't take it. So now it's a bit skew with and that's okay. It's, um, it's, it's handmade thing and it's doing its best. <laughs> okay. So on this, I've made another little pocket. There's some tea-dyed paper or coffee-dyed, so there's bits and, and there's this little thing here that I really like. But it had rum written on that there, so I put a bird on it. And then there's this little bit of a check thing. It's a printable. I got off... I, I, bought, I bought some off um, Pam at the Paper Outpost, and I don't know if that's worse or not. So this one, you see me make that with a hole in. Um, and that's a, not, a really nice piece of handmade paper. I've got some um, music paper here, and I've added bits to it because I put some washi, uh, some masking tape on as well. So, and there's a bit of um, bit of the, end of the lace piece. 
there's some really old vintage lace in there and then there's this piece here that you can write on like it's open a nice page that you can open up and write on that <coughs> plenty of journaling spots and that little bit there and then I've, I've sewed that um, pocket on there I know that I'm home and there's this two little pieces that's a really old piece of paper too that I've just put in that and burden on another paper you ain't going to need any of these things because there's plenty of stuff in that in that um, bag I have this piece here that I stitched on this piece of silk fabric that is a piece of silk fabric and I stitched that nice design on and then there's this paper because I've also got the beads down the side of that piece as well I put that nice piece of silk there because I thought that looked really good and it's a little bit of my work that's added into it okay and then we've got a moth I think it's a moth there's a nice pocket here um, I've got not a lot on that but there's going to like I said there's all that ephemera there for you to use there's a tea, tea or coffee dyed can't remember this is not actually a pocket but I love the picture <laughs> so you've got that um, and there's a nice pocket there that I've cut that out of the paper and I like the way that it's and I stitched it on so I got a bit of stitching done so that was really good because I enjoyed that now this is an envelope as you can see but I put washi tape because there was excuse me old sticky okay so I'm telling you there was old sticky you know because it was really it paid, the envelope was really old, so I just wanted to cover it over. Okay, um, and more more uh, music paper, and there's a little bit of washi tape on that. And sorry about the extra bits. There's a piece of a um, ticket thing there. This is a tuck spot. I'm sure, that's a tuck spot. There you go, we can tuck things down in there, that's a tuck spot. Really pretty isn't it that piece, I like that. Um, I put a piece of paper on that. You can see through it and I thought, oh I need somewhere to write, you need somewhere to write so. And I've also got these pages in here that you can write on that are out of an old, an old book. And it's not very wide that bit, it will stay in there but I've added the, the paper clips so you can move it if you want to or whatever so there's plenty of paper places here to write same with there this is also a pocket here so you can put something down in there I did leave a little bit of space to put things because I thought that was needed um, this is a tag that I made back a while ago and I really like that so I've got lace on the top of this um, one there's a belly band and he's pretty much just like he is and like I said, you just can do something with it yourself. And I've left enough space for you to do something there. And I paint, painted this with a bit of paint. You can just write over top of that. I've got a couple of parts there that you can do um, journaling on. A stitching around there as well. There's another piece of piece of um, fabric. And more fluff. Another piece of paper, uh, music paper. And this pocket is crooked. And that's just... Did that on purpose or <laughs> not? <laughs> anyway, it's it's there now. It's done. And then I have this um, tuck spot here as well. And I did some feather stitching down there. And I'm running through this really fast. I hope you get to see it anyway. You can wind it back if you want to. And then there's that pocket at the back. And my hand made by Sonia Steptoes on that. So you get all these here. This is a set of these little pieces and that bit if you would like to have a look at it on my Etsy um, I'm not I'm sorry about the prices I mean I'm only gonna I'm gonna do free shipping I should charge a different price in Australia is what, what I do to America and I don't know how to do that I don't know if you can it just depends um, I'll see what happens anyway We'll see what happens when I get, get to do on putting it up because last time I went to put up the amount that I was going to charge for shipping and they told me it was too much but that's how much it costs so I don't know how I'm supposed to do this but um, I thought well I've had it made a little while now I should put it up in the shop so if anybody would be interested in it that would be really nice. 
So thank you very much everybody for watching and I hope you like that. And I really enjoyed making them and I've got a lot of these bits because I keep making bits so maybe I should parcel them up together like this in future. So thank you for watching and we'll talk to you later. Bye bye.